Counting has begun in today's presidential election in Indonesia. It'll take some time. There are nearly 200 million people eligible to vote today for the country's next president. Results starting to come in, as I mentioned, and a front runner is starting to emerge. That is Indonesia's defense minister, Prabowo Subianto. And we'll have more on this live from Jakarta. David Gronenboom is with me. He's uh, at a watch party for that front runner. And David, good to see you. I appreciate your live reporting today. Tell me more about the front runner now, some of his background. Uh, and really it's kind of a controversial background for the man who's now leading in the votes. Yeah, I mean, he has got a, a, so many allegations of human rights violations that he's facing. In fact, back in 1998, when he was a three-star general, when he was one of the henchmen of the former dictator Suharto, after the Suharto regime collapsed, well, Prabowo Subianto, he was dishonorably discharged from the army for multiple reasons, including allegations of ordering the kidnappings of democracy activists. He's also accused of atrocity crimes or ordering troops to commit atrocity crimes in East Timor. He has denied these allegations. Now, how has he remade his image? I mean, keep in mind, in the past two elections for president, when he lost, he ran as sort of the strongman general. It didn't work. So this election, what did his team do? Well, they remade his image, particularly on social media, and they promoted him as this 72-year-old cute, cuddly grandpa figure who would do these awkward dance steps uh, on the campaign, and he would dance on stage. And the young population here, they would just love it. Some of these videos went viral. Keep in mind, about half of the voters in this country are younger than 40. One third are younger than 30. And there are a lot of voters who are not even alive, were not even born yet back in 1998. So many of these voters have no collective memory of what went on back then, and it's not taught in the schools. So for so many of these young voters, if they even believe what happened in the past, a lot of them dismiss it based on the images on social media, but a lot of them will say, hey, look, what happened in the past is the past. So interesting, David, as we look at that background. There's also controversy connected to his vice presidential running mate. Tell us about that next, if you would. Yeah, yeah so his vice presidential running mate, Gibran Raka, booming Raka, he, he is the son of the incumbent president, Joko Widodo. And Joko Widodo has an 80% approval rating. And as soon as Gibran got named as the vice presidential running mate, well, proposed, his approval ratings just went way up in terms of the polling numbers on him. Now, why is this so controversial? Well, one, Indonesia, they had a law. They have a law that says you can't run for president or vice president unless you're at least 40 years old. But then the Constitutional Court came out with a ruling that said that law of 40 will not apply to anyone who's been previously voted to public office. And Gibran is the mayor of a mid-sized city, so this did not apply to him. But here's the thing. The judge who cast the deciding vote in a 5-4 decision, this chief justice, well, he's Gibran's uncle, Joko Widodo's brother-in-law. That is the main reason that was able to happen. And of course, on top of that, a lot of people are accusing Joko Widodo of meddling in affairs and trying to establish a legacy after he's out of office. So there's so much controversy about Gibran being on the ticket, but it looks like it's going to work for Prabowo. The backstories, David, thank you for this. Just before I let you go, I'm just wondering about timeline from here on. I mentioned the huge number, tens of millions eligible to vote. When will we have final results? What's the estimate there? Yeah, yeah there's over 200 million eligible voters. And unofficial results are coming in. Unofficial results are projecting Prabowo as the winner. But um, as far as official results, we're going to get an unofficial result from the Elections Commission perhaps later tonight. But to get those final official votes, because keep in mind, there's so many uninhabited, excuse me, inhabited islands, really remote areas in this country, 7,000 inhabited islands. They may not have the final full count for over a month. David, thank you very much. Really great to have you on the program today. Live from Jakarta. Thank you.